friends, it's Star Thrifter, and I just wanted to do a really quick video um, in regards to sell-through rate. And I know that if you've been watching any of my other videos, I mentioned about doing a, a video um, real soon in regards to how to look up the sell-through rate when you're purchasing items, and that I will be doing a separate video on. But this is in regards to sell-through rate of your store or of your items that you have listed on eBay. And uh, it's really important, and a lot of times um, people, you know, don't really think about it, but it is important, and especially for, like, clothing sellers or, or anybody that has a lot of listings up. Uh, sometimes some old listings, you know, that have been up there for a year or nine months or a year or longer, and if they're not selling, it can start pulling down your uh, your store, and um, it pulls down your sales. And uh, eBay likes to see activity. And when they see that, supposedly, it kind of can reduce some of your sales because it's, you know, pulls the whole, you know, rate down. And uh, it's really important to address this. And there's different things that you can do. Um, you could, you know, maybe run some sales or price some of that older stuff cheaper just to get it moving and get rid of it. Then you can take that money and buy new inventory or you can do something that actually eBay suggested at eBay Open this year. And um, they said that any of your listings that's been listed longer than um, nine months basically goes to the bottom of the search. Especially if there's like a lot of items. I mean, if it's something really rare, it's not going to really matter. But when you got like a couple thousands or a hundred thousand of, of the same items listed, it's going to really bottom out. And what they suggested doing was to end the listing... Choose end listing. If you're on your computer, you can just choose end listing. If you're on your phone, make sure do not choose out of stock because then that, I guess, supposedly can really go against your account and eventually they may, if you're already like top rate to seller, it may reduce it down to standard. You don't want to do out of stock. Um, the reason that you're canceling it, because on the phone app, they ask you that. I think I just put on there, or, you know, like an error. You have a choice of doing like, is there a listing error? And that's the one that I choose. And uh, you can end them and then do sell similar, not relist, but sell similar. And it's supposed to refresh it. And I really think that it does work because I have been doing that. And um, it does seem like some of those older items are getting more attention or and some of the old items, if you just got some and they're just not moving, maybe it's time to really think about your inventory and maybe sort through some of that and maybe redonate it or or whatever. But you really want to pay attention to your 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 sell through rate, especially if you're doing this full time and you have a lot of listings. And uh, I happen to um, sell clothing, and it's a lot on volume. You know, when you're selling clothing, and the more and with anything, though, the more you list every day, the more you're going to sell every day. But you, I know that I have some old inventory and some stuff that needs to move. And I've been pulling out old inventory and redonating it. And if you do have this as a business, it is a write-off. You keep track. Now, remember, when you donate it, the only part that you can write up is how much you paid for it, not how much you think it's going to sell for, which is a bummer. I know it's a huge difference, but it has to be what you paid for it. Also, if you have items that you just have to toss, like if there's you find a flaw or thing, something like that, and you're not going to redonate it and you're going to throw it away, you also can um, write that off too as it's a discarded as far as, um, you know, on your taxes and things like that. But and I've been trying to lower the price on some of my stuff too, you know, to get some of that to, um, you know, sell. And, uh, but it's really important in regards to this because a lot of times I guess people don't really realize, and I didn't either um, before, you know, especially for a long time, you know, before I was more familiar with eBay, that it can pull your sales down because your sell through rate for your store is not, you know, very great. eBay's not going to be sending a lot of traffic if your sell through rate's not really great. I guess that's how it goes. But anyhow, eBay is a platform that you're selling on. And the more that you can go along with the suggestions that they have in place on how to sell on there, it's it's not really favoritism. It's the way that they have it set up. And maybe it's all, you know, numbers and computerized. But it's the way that it's set up, just like um, 
they like you to, you, it will like the more you list, the more you sell. I know that that no one's been able to explain that portion of it, but a lot of different things like offering returns and things like that, it's going to boost you up, you know, a little bit more in, um, in the search. And, um, and two, I have heard, and I don't know if it's true that, um, they want to make sure that you're handling your sales properly, that you're doing a great job. You're getting shipped out on time. The customers are happy, things like that. And the more that you do that, then the more kind of traffic they send to you. And it, that could be, like I said, too, all computerized because it's on their checklist of how they would like things. Now there is that whole topic of free shipping and not free shipping. And I know that they really want you to do free shipping. But as a clothing seller, it got to where it just was not financially advisable to do free shipping anymore, at least for me. And I've heard that a lot of other clothing sellers say this, too, because I get a lot of returns for just change my mind or item doesn't fit. Item doesn't fit is one of the big ones. And if you're paying return shipping on that, that adds up. Now, some people, if they're selling really high volume, they just, you know, it doesn't matter. They have enough um, income and they're just, you know, just covering all that, you know, but it's just something to think about. But I just wanted to do this uh, quick little video in regards to the sell through rate because it's really important. I will be doing one though to show you how to look up the sell through rate when you're purchasing items, and that's what I've been doing more lately. And I didn't used to take the time to do it, and I just like I guess I just didn't pay close enough attention to really figure out how to do it. It makes a difference, especially when you're selling clothing. Now, you if you're going to list a ton and you have a lot of room for inventory, you know, for storage, then maybe, you know, it's not as, you know, huge of an issue. But I have 2,500 items listed and uh, been running out of inventory room. And, um, and it's a lot of work. And I've been trying to pick up things now more that are either a little bit more high end or a little, you know, more sought after or a higher sell for rate. And I'll show you how to do that. You can do that on your computer from your desktop or you can do it from your phone. And I know the majority of people probably do it from their phone and that, you know, I'll show you how to do that in a, an upcoming video. If you'd like, you can subscribe and then you'll get notifications when I do upload that video or any other videos. And I have a lot of other old ones too, if you want to check them out. I did already this week one for last week's sales. Last week I did one for the week prior sales and I did a thrift haul video yesterday or this morning. I think it got posted and uh, things like that. And um, if you could do me a favor and push the thumbs up button, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you have any comments, please leave those. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.